Booster Gold. He is my all-time favorite superhero, and his official tagline is, the greatest hero you've never heard of. If you guys have seen me on the internet or watched this channel, you guys know that I love me some Booster Gold, but I've never explained to you why he's my favorite superhero. So first, let me give you a rundown of who he is, and I actually made a video on it, so just click that card up there and you can watch for yourself. It's kind of wonderful. So he was a college quarterback who was betting against his own games in order to get money for, uh, for treatment for his mother. So he would throw his games, but he was caught. So he was expelled from college, and the only job he could get was as a janitor at a space museum. And he saw the superheroes of the past in all their glory and says, I'm gonna do that. So he steals a time machine, a bunch of gadgets and gizmos, including a Legion flight ring, and a security robot named Skeets, we'll get to Skeets later, and he goes back in time to stop crimes before they really happen because he knows when and where and how. So he becomes the biggest giant sellout. He is slapping his face and his logo on everything, and he's a giant scumbag. And also, if you guys know me, I like scumbag characters. There's a reason why Eric O'Grady is my favorite of the Ant-Men. But everybody just kind of hates him. He just goes around showboating, and it's kind of wonderful and goofy. He has the greatest bromance with Ted Kord, the Blue Beetle, and they're just like a buddy cop movie all the time. They're just wandering around, getting into hijinks. It's so good. Blue and gold. It's amazing. But here's the thing. Booster ends up becoming a really nice guy. He becomes a Time Master, so his job is to go through the DC timeline and fix continuity, more or less, and it's wonderful. But he has to use his identity as a scumbag, and he, he can't take credit for any of the good that he's done. He has saved the multiverse on multiple occasions, but he can't take credit for it because he has to put up the guise that he's a, a dummy dum-dum. I love that so much because he saves everything all the time, gets no credit for it. If you want a great example of this, you should watch his uh, one episode that he had in Justice League Unlimited. He saves the entire universe, no credit, everybody still hates him. He's goofy, his robot Skeets is, when he's not with Blue Beetle, he's with Skeets, and Skeets will just fly around zapping things, and also just being a douche to Booster, and they have great banter back and forth, and Booster's just always going through the time stream and fixing things and getting in before it happens. Do I have the issue up here? No, I don't, but he goes back and inspires Sinestro to create the Sinestro core. He goes and has drinks with Jonah Hex. He gets rear-ended by the Flash and uh, Kid Flash on their cosmic treadmill while they're going through the time stream too. It's amazing. Uh, there's also a great issue, Martian Manhunter number 24, where he and Blue Beetle steal all of the Chacos, which is just another name for Oreos so that DC wouldn't get sued, in the entire city because Martian Manhunter is addicted to them. And because these Oreos kind of create the same uh, effect in Martians as hard drugs, Martian Manhunter goes insane. He hulks out and he destroys everything because he wants those cookies. Meanwhile, Booster Gold and Blue Beetle are just laughing their butts off. And he's wonderful and amazing. He's goofy. He doesn't get any credit, but that's the charm of him. I can just geek out on Booster all day long, but I felt like I needed to share that with you. He's a good character. I'm gonna go now. To shoot one.